Hey guys, today I have a pretty quick one for you, pretty simple. We are going to play around with light and dark mode on Swift UI. Now, dark mode is something that's, I feel like, become way more popular, and Swift UI makes it very easy to jump back and forth and to have different setting or code logic for both of them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys a couple different ways to uh, to dabble with, I guess, light and dark mode. So what we're gonna do is create a new Xcode project. I'm gonna go iOS app, hit next. We're gonna say uh, dark mode demo. Just make sure your interface is Swift UI and save that wherever you would like. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit resume. You guessed it, we are not sticking with the iPod touch. You can, I am not. What we're gonna do to start out, we're gonna come over to our assets and make sure your right sidebar is open. We're gonna come down to this plus button and go plus color set. Basically, you're able to bring in your own colors and use them in your code with certain settings for light and dark mode. So any appearance is essentially just light mode and dark appearance is dark mode. So we're going to tap on this and rename it to sky. So for any appearance, let's choose like a daytime sky color, like a sky blue here. And then for dark appearance, we're gonna choose like a night sky, like a navy blue. Cool. I figured what better way to show light and dark mode with nighttime and daytime. So we're gonna come over to content view. We can minimize the right, create some more space. So we are going to replace this text with color parentheses quotes sky. And we should see, but we don't. Let's embed this in a Z stack. Aren't we seeing our color? Command shift K to clean. Command B to build. Build succeeded, resume. There it is. Sometimes you gotta, you know, mess around a little bit. We do not like the white space come outside of the Z stack dot edges, ignoring safe area dot all. All right, so we got our sky. Now let's add, let's make a sun slash moon. So we're gonna go circle. Yes, we are making a sun slash moon frame. Let's make the width 300. We're only setting width because it's a circle and that takes care of the height as well. Let's go offset X um, 150 Y negative 300. Just like you're drawing when you were in elementary school. Let's go Y 350. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to go dot foreground color and then color parentheses color literal and pick like a, a sun looking, yeah, cool. Okay. Now, we got our daytime, right? Outside of body, we're gonna go at environment, parentheses, forward slash dot color, capital S scheme, close parentheses, var, color scheme. I like to name it the exact same thing. Makes it simple. Okay. So as of now, we are showing this in light mode, but come over to your preview and click this to mess with your settings. And then in color scheme, choose dark mode and you will see our sky works. Okay. Now I guess sun and moon can both kind of work for the same color. But for the sake of demonstrating this, uh, we are going to do different colors for the sun and the moon. So before our color literal, we're going to say color scheme is equal to dot light question mark space. Then we have our color. This is going to look wonky for a second. Then we need space. Come on. 
colon, and then color literal again. It only kind of works when there's two for some reason. So choose your moon color to be slightly different um, or make it crazy different so you know it's working. We could have a lime green moon. I don't care. That looks cool. Um, so that's basically another approach you can use with your environment. And you'll see that in your preview, you have preferred color scheme. So if you don't want to come over here and, and mess with these settings, you could just do dot light and then it changes it dot dark. But as you can see with this environment, uh, variable that we made here for a color scheme, we could do like, we could only show it, say this is just a sun and the lime green is goofy because it is, we could do if color scheme is equal to dot light and then come below, close the brackets, my indentation, we're gonna go command right closing brackets, little trick there. And basically you can have your code logic to, you know, to say if it's in dark mode, do this. If it's in light mode, do this. I think this is a bit extreme, but you can see how you can use it. So quick review for color scheme, you're just going at environment and there are different keys for environment, like uh, different layouts and stuff that you can mess with, but here, and then you can set the colors, you know, straight from the color picker, or you can go in your assets and set a color like sky, like we did in the beginning, where we are setting any appearance and dark appearance. I don't like not having a moon. And to be quite honest, the lime green moon was growing on me. So we are going to do away with the logic indent it back left, resume this, boom. But we're going back to daytime. That's really it. Uh, I think there are other ways to do this, but these are the two that I use the most and uh, especially the um, assets way. I think that I find myself using that a lot. A lot of times in the beginning of pro projects I'm doing, I will just import my color sets and I'll choose like, I want my text to be, you know, a darker, black or like a dark gray in light mode. And then in dark mode, I'm assuming it has like a darker background. So I'll go like a whiter um, or like a silver text color. So things like that, you can, you can pretty much preload it and have like a 10 sets of colors. And then you can always know that it'll work in light and dark mode each. So, or you can wait until the end of your project and, you know, go through and manipulate it at the end. But yeah, color scheme, environment, assets, any appearance, dark appearance, that's pretty much it. So uh, as always, if you like this tutorial, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm amazed at how many uh, people are already watching my videos. This is my third video, fourth, fourth, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna keep it going and Swift UI is what I love to do. So there will be a lot of Swift UI stuff in the beginning, but to anyone that's like new, welcome, but to anyone that this is not my first video you're watching, that's crazy. That's awesome. So thank you. Uh, I'm going to keep it going. So we'll see where this goes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.